How to use Toggle Plan Quick and Easy Tutorial 2022 Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another great tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing how you can use a great feature and software that you can find on Google and it's called Toggle Plan. Now, what is Toggle Plan? Toggle Plan is basically a workspace software where you can optimize your projects and work around with your colleagues and uh, it's basically great and uh, I'm going to explain it all in the video and it's pretty self-explanatory. You can mess around with the plans, you can, if you work in a company or maybe a large-scale business and you want to tell your clients or maybe your employees to do something or maybe plan something for them, plan a workspace or a workload on them, you can use it and you can do it using Toggle Plan. So it's going to be very simple, it's going to be very easy, I'm going to explain everything to you step by step. All I need you to do is just sit back, relax and listen to all the instructions I have to give to you till the end of the video. And if you do that, then I can guarantee you that you're going to properly know how to use Toggle Plan. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're just going to go on Google and write toggle plan. Now once we write toggle plan, here we're going to come on the toggle website. Now the toggle plan is a team project and a work planning tool as I just explained it to you. So again, if we come down here, toggle plan is a simple digital workplace tool for remote and in office teams to manage projects and workloads. This is basically if you're in any office or if you're a work from home office or if you're in an office, which is like, for example, if your employees are maybe continents away or countries away, you can use this workspace or workload to tell them how to work. So yeah, then what you're going to do is you're going to go into toggle.com. And once you go into toggle.com, you're going to come here where it says toggle plan, deliver projects on time, stress free, visually plan your team's projects, track progress and keep their workload healthy with a drag and drop timelines. Now, obviously, there are different pricings because these aren't free. So these are the different pricing plans. There's the team plan and there's the business plan. Now, the team plan has unlimited team timelines, visual workload management, shareable project timelines and much more. But the business plan is $15 per month and in this we can collaborate with different clients if we want to. So it's all great and it's all fun uh, and it's very simple and easy to use because it's very user friendly as well. So without further ado, you can check their website for different features and reviews they have but I'm just gonna get right into it. Now to uh, start for free we're gonna click on start free team trial right here and over here it asks you to create your toggle account. So to create your account, you're obviously going to put in your email. I'm going to put mine in right here. And after you do that, you're going to put in a password that you can remember properly. Agree to their terms and click on sign up. So after you sign up, it's going to bring you to this. Welcome to Toggle Plan, add profile pic and set up your workspace. Now the workspace name, it could be any of these. Like it could be for accounts, design, engineering, marketing, sales, plan master. And this is required because... Uh, According to this, it will optimize your workspace. So let's say your workspace is about engineering and appearance. Obviously, you can I'd recommend dark mode because it just looks much better. And then you're going to click on next. How many projects are you working on? You can add however many projects you have. I'm just going to click on one right now. How many team members do you have? You can choose more than five or totally depends on you. It just doesn't make it much complicated or anything. And after you've done all that, you're going to click on done. And according to that, as you can see in the background, it starts optimizing. So here we are. This is basically our toggle plan uh, timeline. And I know it looks very complicated, but do not worry. It's very simple. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. And over here, we're going to go to users and we're going to add our users. Now to add your users, you're just going to go on users and click on add email to invite. Now you can add their email addresses over here, you can add their working hours, and you can add basic holidays if they have. You can change their user role, they could be a guest, they could be an admin, they could be a member, and then you can choose what they're collaborating on. And after you've done that, you can send invite. And again, go on users, do the same for the rest of the users, and once you've done all that, they're going to properly over there. Now if you want to buy plans, you can come to subscription anytime and choose the plan. 
You can also downgrade to the solo plan, which is free for individuals. Basically, if you want to make uh, a timeline for yourself, if you want to make a calendar for yourself to follow, you can choose a solo plan for yourself just to keep things uh, very professional. And then if you go on apps and integration, you can integrate your toggle app with other things like there's a toggle track where you can keep track of things. There's a toggle mobile app. There's the browser extensions. You can also integrate it with your Slack or you can integrate it with any calendar software like Google calendars, the Apple calendar and much more. So once you do all of that, all you need to do is you're going to go back to your workspace and here on out uh, what you can do is obviously first of all there's the my work panel now in the my work panel you can basically start uh, creating tasks for yourself like for example i'm going to go new task and i'm going to click on coding so status to do obviously you can choose the date uh basically if the deadline is on the 24th there's a four day margin it's from the 20th to the 24th so there we go so the deadline is from the 20th to the 24th. The assignee is obviously uh, you can choose who it's assigned to. So let's say you want to assign it to user two and user four. And from there on out, the project is the first project. Time estimates, you can choose the time if you want to. And then you can add a description like this project asks you to do some coding regarding blah 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 you can just and there we go and after you've done that all you need to do is you can also add comments if you want to and from there on out all you need to do is you're going to back out and over here a proper task will be created for you as i just told you and yeah that is basically how you add tasks and how you give it to your team there we go in our project timeline we can see this is the timeline view where we can see there's coding over here again you can add more tasks if you want to uh, let's add something random, assign it to user four and user five and user one from there on out. Look at that. And then you can also expand the timeline just like this. That is how easy it is to use. You can also see it in a board view and you can drag it from to do to in progress or maybe blocked or maybe done. And that is basically how easy it is to work around with your toggle plan. Now, again, you can just add more tasks. You can change the views. Now, obviously, as you see, there are these different views and these different views give you different uh, optimizations. So here, for example, you can just drag and drop and make your tasks longer or you can just add different tasks by clicking on different spaces, make the task name, assign it to, let's say you want to assign it to yourself. And then you can also change uh, the dates by dragging them, making them longer. You can add new tasks in front of them. This is how basic and easy it is to use uh, toggle plan. And again, in the in this space where it's the uh, the board view, you can again drag and drop if you want to, or you can just start adding new tasks right under here. So there we go. There's a new task, and then again a new task, again a new task. And this is how easy it is to just add tasks and the users that obviously you invited into your workspace will be able to see all of this. Obviously, they won't be able to change these because they don't have the authority. Only you have. So, yeah, that is how easy and basic it is to use Toggle Plan. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel because it'll help me out a lot. And uh, tell me if you want to watch more videos like this. I will make them for you. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day and uh, I'm going to see you all next time. That was all from me. Goodbye.